High school basketball is often full of thrills. This evening, Episcopal High School is hosting St. Albans. Both are private schools in the Washington, D.C. area. But not all of the players in this game are American. Two are from Africa. Jim Fitzpatrick has been the basketball coach and associate director of admissions at Episcopal High School for the past six years. My goal at the time, six years ago, was to open doors a little bit, not only for the school, but for, for student athletes. And um, I was very fortunate that I was presented with an opportunity uh, to find some young men from Africa. Sadiq Aboubkar, a senior, is one of them. Raised in a small village in northern Nigeria, Sadiq has known few luxuries in life. Although he is a good basketball player and a hardworking student, getting a high quality education was just a dream. Then he met a recruiter who told him about Episcopal, and the process began to bring him to the U.S. to attend school. I never thought it was going to happen actually, because I always believe that in Nigeria you have to know people like to get such opportunities. Today, Coach Fitzpatrick says having international kids at the school has been a win-win situation. For Episcopal, a boarding school with a strong academic reputation, it not only means getting good athletes, but getting kids who bring cultural diversity to campus life. For Sadiq, it is the opportunity to get the kind of education he could not afford in Nigeria and the experience of living in another country. I feel grateful and thankful to God that I got a chance to come to a place like this. Coach Fitzpatrick says Sadiq has worked hard for his success. I'm proud to say he is a 93 average student on a 100 point scale here, which is quite impressive. So um, he's constantly on what we call our high list, which is our honor roll here. Sadiq says when he first came to Episcopal, basketball was foremost in his mind. He had a dream of one day playing in the NBA. Soon he learned academics were the better way to ensure success in life. I'm fortunate enough to work around, to work with people, well, to have people who, who are much older than myself, who have played professionally, who have gone to school, and every day all they tell me is without academics, basketball is not going to take me anywhere. My thesis. Several big name basketball universities have expressed interest in Sadiq, but he prefers smaller schools that have more of an academic focus. Although he has not accepted yet, Hamilton College, a small liberal arts school, has offered him a scholarship. My coach always told me that if I could get my grades right all the time and behave myself and play basketball, that I'd be fine. And it worked out exactly the way he said. Coach Fitzpatrick says taking these kids to the next level was always part of the motivation for bringing them to Episcopal. Part of bringing these students over here from Africa and, and other countries around the world is, you know, you can't just think about high school. You also want to say, how can we get these young people to universities? Tonight, Episcopal squeaks by with a win. They will go on to win their conference championship for the season. Sadiq is excited about what the future will bring. He says one day, with college degree in hand, he may return to Nigeria and in some way help the people of his country realize their dreams. Jeff Swicord, VOA News, Washington.